What's going on guys? I'm the Walrus Jedi and welcome to another Clone Wars review. Today will be the last five episodes of Season 2. Those episodes are The Zillow Beast, The Zillow Beast Strikes Back, Death Trap, R2 Come Home, and Lethal Trackdown. If you like these kinds of videos then please consider hitting the like and subscribe and the notification for uh, more videos in the future. There will be spoilers for these episodes, so consider that your warning. Cast, Matt Lanter, Anakin Skywalker, T.C. Carson, Mace Windu, Greg Baldwin, The Dugs, Ian Abercrombie, Chancellor Palpatine, D. Bradley Baker, The Clones, Kara Pifko, Dr. Bull, Tom Kane, The Narrator and Yoda, Matthew Wood, The Battle Droids, James Arnold Taylor, Obi-Wan Kenobi and Plo Koon, and Catherine Tabor, Padme Amidala. Anthony Daniels, C-3PO, Daniel Logan, Boba Fett, and the Clone Cadets, Jamie King, R.S. Singh, Ashley Eckstein, Ahsoka Tano, and Jim Cummings, Hondo Onaka. 18. The Zillow Beast, which aired April 9th, 2010 on Cartoon Network. It was directed by Giancarlo Volpe and written by Craig Titley. The moral is, choose what is right, not what is easy. On the Doug homeworld of Malastair, the Republic and Dugs drop a bomb on the droid army that only harms droids. It's kind of like the defoliator from season one, but obviously the defoliator kills life, whereas the bomb in this episode takes out the droids. The bomb causes a pit to open and awakens the Zilla Beast. They best it and haul it away to Coruscant for some reason to study, and then the Dugs sign a treaty. 19. The Zilla Beast Strikes Back, which aired April 16th, 2010 on Cartoon Network. Directed by Stuart Lee and written by Steve Melching. The moral is, the most dangerous beast is the beast within. The beast is brought to Coruscant. Dr. Bull is tasked by Palpatine to kill it. It escapes and it goes on a rampage throughout Coruscant seeking Palpatine. The beast is killed and then they uh, decide to clone it. 20. Death Trap, which aired April 23, 2010. On Cartoon Network, it's directed by Stuart Lee and written by Doug Petrie. The moral is, who my father was matters less than my memory of him. Boba Fett seeks revenge for the death of his father, Django. So he sneaks aboard a Venator with Mace Windu on it and tries to kill him. The Venator crashes and Boba gets picked up by his bounty hunter friends. 21. R2 Come Home, aired April 30th, 2010 on Cartoon Network. It was directed by Giancarlo Volpe and written by Eogen Mahoney. The moral is, adversity is a friendship's truest test. Anakin and Mace go to the crashed Venators to search for survivors, but they find clones killed by blaster fire and the Admiral is missing. They find a helmet, it explodes, trapping the Jedi under a bunch of rubble, and then R2 goes for help. Plo Koon rescues the Jedi. Boba and his band have the Admiral and others prisoner, and they're going to use them as leverage to get Mace Windu to do what they want, basically. 22. Lethal Trackdown, which aired April 30th, 2010, on Cartoon Network. It was directed by Dave Filoni and written by Dave Filoni and Drew Z. Greenberg. The moral is, revenge is a confession of pain. Plo Koon and Ahsoka investigate the Coruscant underworld to find Boba Fett. They go to Florum after, you know, a lead, and they capture Boba Fett. What I liked... For Zillow Beast, it's cool to see Dugs and Malastare get a little bit more of that uh, species fleshed out. For Zillow Beast Strikes Back, there really isn't anything that stood out in my mind. Death Trap, it's kind of cool to see Boba Fett. For R2 Come Home, uh, the Bounty Hunter stuff is kind of cool. And then for Lethal Track Down, I, I just put Plo Koon because, you know. And then for what I didn't like, for Zillow Beast, there isn't anything that I didn't like. For Zillow Beast Strikes Back... Uh, my only thing is, is why did they take it to Coruscant? That just, you, you take it to the most populated world in the Republic. You know, they're, they're, I wouldn't be surprised if tens of thousands of people got killed just in its rampage. Even though it was fairly meticulous and it because it, it was heading to Palpatine, it still did a lot of damage and it killed who knows how many people. And then for Death Trap, there isn't anything I didn't like. For R2 Come Home... One of the bounty hunters, Castus, is kind of annoying and just complains all the time. And then for Lethal Trackdown, why is Ahsoka with Plo Koon? I, d I don't understand what Ahsoka really adds to the 
to this episode. It's just like, what what's wrong with it just being Plo Koon or why couldn't it be a different character? It's, I don't know. And the ratings for the episodes are as follows. For the Zillow Beast, I give it a 7.5 out of 10. The Zillow Beast Strikes Back gets a 4 out of 10. Death Trap gets a 7.5 out of 10. R2 Come Home gets a 6.5 out of 10. And Lethal Trackdown gets a 7 out of 10. Well, that is, uh, that's the last five episodes of uh, Clone Wars Season 2. Let me know what you thought of these episodes in the comment section down below. And, uh, yeah, which one's your favorite out of this five, and which is your least favorite? And, yeah, what are your thoughts on taking the Zilla Beast to Coruscant? Right now, there's some uh, Clone Wars reviews you can watch. Take your pick on the, on the left. And, uh, yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and until next time, thanks for watching.